An ancient tree from India is now thriving in groves where citrus trees once flourished in Florida. And the good news is that this can help provide the nation with renewable energy, as large parts of the Sunshine State's once famous citrus industry have all but dried up over the past couple of decades. Some farmers are turning to Pongamia tree. Now it is a climate-resilient tree with the potential to produce plant-based proteins and a sustainable biofuel. Now for years, Pongamia has been used for shade trees, producing bitter legumes as well. dense energy per pound of refined oil that you can have. That's very important when you're flying. The, the more power you've got, the further you can go on the same weight. So in an airplane, that's a big deal. Also, there's really no good carbon substitute for the petroleum that you have to burn to power a jet. Pongamia could be that. It'd be a plant-based uh, oil that can do that. Unlike the orange and grapefruit trees that long occupy these rural Florida groves northwest of West Palm Beach, Pongamia trees don't need much attention. They don't need fertilizer or pesticides. They flourish in drought or rainy conditions. They don't require teams of workers to pick the beans. A machine simply shakes the tiny beans from the branches when they're ready to harvest. A San Francisco-based company uses its patented process to remove the uh, biopesticide that caused a bitter taste, making the beans suitable for food production as well. Very high quality protein that we, uh, we get through the rest of the chemistry and research on it will be used in making a baking flour, cooking, it makes great graham crackers, we've done a lot with those already. Um, but a whole, whole variety of things, almost any protein, it's an excellent substitute. The pangamia is a wild tree native to India, Southeast Asia, and Australia. The legumes also produce oil that can be used as biofuel, largely for aviation, which leaves a very low carbon footprint. Bees and other pollinators feast on the pangamia's flowers, supporting local biodiversity as well. An acre of the trees can potentially provide the same amount of oil as four acres of soybeans.